This is a question for Alex. Um, you've been on two of my favourite shows, Supernatural, obviously, and Arrow. And I just wanted to know. Well, if you're you, in the right place. I just wanted to know if you, you could see any parallels between Jack and Lonnie Machen. Um, not not a lot of parallels. Um, one was a was an innocent nephilim, and the other one was a violent socio psychopath who lit people on fire. So. Um, <laughs> You know what? I, I guess I did have the power to kill people. Um, that would be the parallel. Do you have a parallel that you saw? I was just thinking they're both products of their environment. Way to give a smart answer and make me look dumb again. <laughs> Don't worry, watch me drink my microphone real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Things will be good. Uh, that is, that's, a, that's a very lovely answer. Um, I would say also that they have my face. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Uh, my question is mostly for Alex, but obviously you are welcome to answer to Mark. Alex, since you and I are both 90 babies, I was just wondering what do you miss most about the 90s? What do I miss most about the 90s? Uh, like something that doesn't exist The power of friendship. Um, <laughs> The fact that I didn't get to see Nirvana. Uh, listen, Mark. Mark lived the '90s. So, uh, what, so what did you? What did you miss? You're saying you were too young. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I got to like, you know, again, like go to a, a great concert or something, or like live through the last era before social media. Uh, you actually got to live it. So, is there something you miss most particularly yeah, about mean, the '90s? I mean, you know, uh, the busy signal on the phone, <laughs> paging my drug dealer, answering uh, machines. Um, you know, the fact that you had to actually mostly talk to people in person instead well, of... Well, I don't know what text. that's like. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. I mean, that was, you know, that encouraged, I think, connections that we don't really have anymore. Here's a question. So when my phone rings, I assume that A, someone has died, or B, I'm in trouble. But back then, I feel like it must have been exciting. Like, no caller ID. You're just like, holy shit, this Who could be is my it? mom. This could be someone I want to date. That could be thrilling. Quite look at it that way. No, but you know, check this out. There used to be a service called Time, right? You could call, you could yeah, call up the time. and get the time. At the tone, the time will be. Shut up, really? No, no, yeah. From wherever you were, you could get this time. But in California, I don't know if this happened in other states, in the pause between, at the tone, the time will be, there was a party line and people could sh were sh shouting out their numbers in the pause. That's how my stepbrother met his wife. No way. What? We, we were 16, and they started dating when they were 16, and then they became man and wife. But they You're met kidding. Each, they met that each other. That is the most way. 90s thing I've ever heard in my so life. So I miss. That was actually more 80s, but I miss. I miss time that you could call. Can you still call it today and get the time? Yeah. We don't need y'all <laughs> <the> watches. <laughs> really? Are you okay? I do love that though, like, what time is it? And you're like, man, that, that person sounds real good looking uh, on the other end of this time call. No, they would just go, seven, four, five, they just be shouting their number out, and if you caught it, you call them up, and then people would hook up. And this hookup just turned out to be like a lifelong deal. Tinder! Tinder of the 90s. Like serial killer's dream. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it probably was. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Just like was. hitchhiking was a serial killer's dream too, but it was yeah. like the fad in the 60s. That would probably be the one thing I would miss in the 60s. I actually hitchhiked a few times. Yeah, but less think, people want to kill you, you know? I think, well, you, you know, because you were like, you're like, you like street fights? And they're like, <laughs> they're like, don't fuck with this guy. Well, they didn't know that at the time. How many people here have hitchhiked? How many people have gotten in the car with a really weird, wrong person? Yeah, okay. I What's have two. With you guys? I have two. But you don't know. One of the, the best hitchhiking story, not, not best hitchhiking story I have, but one of the most interesting was I was hitchhiking and an old hippie on a tandem bike was driving it alone and he stops. He's like, hey man, it's like you gotta work for it, but you wanna ride? And I got on! I love that guy. But then the bike broke down. <laughs> The bike, his chain came off the spokes and broke, and then he's like, oh, I'm sorry, dude. Okay, by the way, there's gotta be nothing sketchier than a man alone on a tandem, tandem bike. <laughs> hey, I was, I was 18 years old, 
I didn't. I didn't have it in me to ask. I just to ask why. I just went. Not like, hey, what happened to the last? Yeah. Guy? What, <laughs> or what happened to your wife? <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't look like the type that had. Yeah, he didn't. He's not a wife guy. No, yeah. not. Yeah, very. So you know. I don't want to say antisocial because he was social enough. But he was destined to die alone. Is what you're saying? I think so. I understand. A drug addled dead alone. Hello. <laughs> My name is Stacy. Hey, Stacy. Today is my son Andrew's birthday. Um, Woo! Happy birthday to you. Thank you. To Andrew? Um, yes, Andrew. What up, Andrew? <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Mark. Uh, yeah. This question's for you. I loved you as as your character, Lucifer, but I also really liked you as Jacob in Lost. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my question is: Throughout your career, who has been one of your favorite co-stars? Quickly. Um, <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, that's such a biased question. No, but this doesn't. Uh, this. This isn't just because he's here. He, uh, you are one of my favorite people. All right. I'm, you, you're, you're acting like this is. Yeah, don't say bullshit. Don't be bullshitting. I'm not. I'm actually saying that because you're your own man, and I really like that. That's a quality that I really like about somebody. Independence. Independent thinking. He's got that. And, and I would say like. Um, uh, Sam Witwer is one of the people that I really bonded with on being human, and we're still friends to this day. And, oh good, you like Sam? Yeah, he's, he's awesome, he's, he's great in his um, animated stuff that he does, Star Wars stuff. Darth Maul, right, he plays Darth Maul. Just Darth Maul? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, he's, and he's, he's just a cool, cool dude, we nerd out together, and um, I dig him. So, I would say he's been one of my favorites to, to work opposite. Thank you. That's extremely flattering because Mark has worked with like Philip Seymour Hoffman. So, you know, Philip Seymour Hoffman, me, you know, that's, that's very kind of you. Well, I was thinking more in terms of, you know, personal, personal like, uh, you know, a guy like Philip Seymour Hoffman was, was really accessible and really cool and really generous to me, but, you know, I, didn't, I, don't, I don't feel like I knew him. And that's when he passed, it was such a shock to me because, um, I knew him on a uh, on a different on a different level, so you know, great guy to work with. But well, thank you. You're also, you better get that. Also, I'm pretty sure this kid's like four, so I don't know why he has a cell phone. <laughs> He's like gotta text his kids See, from like preschool and shit. That's something I miss from the '90s. Is is you know when kids played outside. They're not allowed outside. I don't think the number of serial killers and, and, and malignant characters... Hi, buddy. Hi. I remember you. I remember you. I, he, he, he wanted to play the game and he yeah. held it out to me. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I remember. You were dressed as Crowley. All right. Oh. I want to see you dressed as Lucifer at my table today. <laughs> I'm kidding. kidding, buddy. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I don't think the number of like malignant characters has gone up out there, but our paranoia about them has. And I, think, and I think it's damaging the kids can't go outside and play anymore. I used to, I used to play in the trees and ride my bike. Huh? Good, they gotta play outside. They need to get filthy. It's important for their brain development. They need to get dirty, too, so their immune systems build up. They just need, right? We need to, we need to get anti-fragile. Well, that's how I'm raising my kids. What? You, you just... Uh, Hello! <laughs> Did exactly have the best relationship. Um, you could say that. <laughs> if they had had a better relationship as father and son, what shenanigans do you think they would have gotten up to together? Oh man. Uh, see, I was really hoping Jack would go evil, right? And I feel like we could have really broke down in the really? evil sphere. Yeah. You wanted to go evil? Oh yeah. But yeah, I yeah. wanted to go good. Well, listen, we've all got our <laughs> desires. <laughs> None of which came true. It happens. Um, I think Lucifer sort of spelled it out when I when I was giving you my vision of the universe, right? It was something like, oh, we can make, what did I say, like, pterodactyls, and I don't know, we could just go crazy and create crazy weird things. Yeah, I feel like that would be a blast. Making pterodactyls, playing with lightsabers, hanging out with real Darth Maul. Right? We could create Darth Maul and hang out. Come on. Have a beer with Darth Maul. And there's drinking involved? Come on. Super legal to give a three-year-old beer, but we're not going to talk about anything. That. Goes, anything goes in our universe. Right. And at three years old, you were a full-grown person, right? Yeah, I did. Full-grown. You were a full-grown person when you were right zero. Right out of the womb. Sorry, yeah. mom. Listen, I didn't make me. Calm down. 
Hello. Hello. I have a kind of similar question asking you guys about your characters and what you think their motives would be. So, kind of for both of you, but first, Mark, if Lucifer was able to return at this point and learn that, you know, his own son had been able to successfully remove Chuck from power, do you think Lucy would be proud of Jack? Do you think he'd like try to pursue that relationship again? I don't think he'd be proud of him. I think he'd be a little jealous, but hide it and try to get on Jack's good side and possibly harness that, sorry, possibly harness that power for something that he wants, which is, you know, universal domination, so he'd probably have to figure out a way to eventually get Jack out of the picture, which I don't think he'd be able to, I'm sorry, but I think that's the way Lucifer would, would end. Hey, I, I can't, you know, Especially, your nature. Well, no, but no, it's not, I think, I think he was going against his nature, but you blew it, to be honest with you because you chose the Winchesters and Castiel over Lucifer, and I think whatever hope he had was, was dead then. Just, just was obliterated when you chose, you know, the uncles over... The, the sexy yeah. uncle gang. No, uh, I, I wouldn't say sexy uncle gang. Incompetent. I think they might disagree with you, but, you know. Incompetent. Uh, Fair. Like, the, 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 the Very emotional, too, you know? And emotional. A lot of ups and downs. Lots of ups and downs. Very inconsistent. Very yeah. constant. Yeah, do they love me? Do they not love me? You you know? Right? Yeah. Yeah, so... Am now, I Winchester or not, Dean? So, 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 so now you know. You're seeing what I'm saying. Yeah, this you're on my side now? You're, you're, now you're on my side. We'll see. <laughs> see? <laughs> Just needed a little time. Okay, Alex, pretending you didn't hear that. <laughs> do you Hold on. <laughs> Hi, what's your question? Do you think Jack would be open to hearing from Lucifer now that he himself, Jack, is aware of what Chuck did and how it showed technically Lucifer had been right the whole time? Of course he would. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, having not heard anything before this, yes. uh, no, I don't know. Uh, yes, he would. I, I think I think based off uh, Mark's superpowers and your clear love of Lucifer, that you know, for your question, I say Jack would sway. How about that? Wait, you're just telling her that what she wants to hear. That's correct. <laughs> Hi. 